Okay, so um, I get this question often, so I thought I would just do a, a video on this. Um, and the question is, how do I flatten out my paintings? And maybe if I can get some dramatic shadows on there, you can see, hopefully, um, the, the water has buckled the paper and it's warping and getting distorted. Um, you know, and yeah, with some dramatic lighting on it like that, it, it looks, you know, it doesn't look that nice. Um, and that happens. Uh, it's not a big deal. So, you know, as I mentioned in my last video, just got these rolled up pieces of tape here to uh, keep the paper on the board there. And this is a gator board. It's kind of like, it's kind of like foam core, but it's, it's like, stiffer and stronger and not girthier but it is stiffer and that's nice um, gator board but it's kind of expensive I, I got it like 50% off some art store was closing and I bought like 10 of them and uh, anyways they're really awesome okay let's see yeah there you go wrinkly paper it's not nice um, so this is how I go about flattening it <clears throat> um, you can spray it with water or use your brush or both it doesn't really matter Now, what usually happens is as, um, as I get one side wet, it'll absorb the water and expand on this side. Or at least this is what, I, what seems to be happening. Um, and, you know, sometimes it'll, it'll curl up and buckle more as a uh, as it absorbs the water and this board's actually pretty clean I mean this stuff is not going to come off so it's kind of like well, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but when I was young, we had these little plastic fish that if you put it in your palm, it would curl up and do crazy shit, and, and depending on the curls, you know, it's like, you're in love, or you're a dick face. <laughs> and I was always a dick face. Um, so, yeah, I hate that fish. So... This is what I think is happening. It's it's absorbing water on the other side and expanding, and the dry side is not, and therefore it's getting a curling effect. Um, now this will come, and this will be an important point uh, later as well. But as I apply water to both sides, um, that should even that out, and it will you know, absorb uh, the water more evenly on the front and the back. <clears throat> and depending on how warped your paper is, you know, you might want to do it a few times, um, you know, go over it with some water and let it really soak the water in and, and get really saturated and really let the uh, the paper relax sometimes I'll, um, I'll do this throughout the painting before I go to sleep wake up and you know it's pretty flat um, 
if I'm doing it the final time, like I finish the painting, I sign it, it's ready to go. If I have the time, you know, I, I definitely prefer to give it um, a few good days of, of being flattened. Um, and I'll continue with that here in a moment, just letting this water soak in. So, well, this is getting its absorption on. I'll set this up. <clears throat> so here I have uh, just plain white mat board. <clears throat> and set that there. Take painting. No, if if you feel like there's too much water on there, whatever that means, um, before sandwiching it between these two, you can get a neck in and just you know. Um, use it to get any like excess puddling water. This isn't too bad. There's there's a subtle sheen on here. Um, I think that'll be fine. So I'm gonna take this other piece of white matte board and just put that here. And then uh, this piece of wood <clears throat> some weights. So I will wake up and take this out and it doesn't stop here. So again uh, what appears to be happening is um, it's absorbing uh, water on one side or the other more than the other side and then you're, you're going to get a curling. So if I take this all off and I leave the painting there, uh, well, if there's any residual moisture left, it's going to evaporate. You know, it's like they say, um, damn, what do they say? Path of least resistance is how things will go. So, um, if you, you know, if I leave my painting, take all this stuff, leave my painting on the table, um, moisture will start to evaporate from the top side, but not from the side that's facing down, obviously, so it's drying faster on top than it is on the bottom. You did not hear that. And it, it'll contract and curl upwards again because it's, uh, it's drying unevenly. Top, <laughs> the top is drying faster than the bottom. So what I do is this. And um, I hang it from like just using a bull clip and you know I use my lamp handle here but find anything and usually I'll, I'll let it hang for uh, you know, 15 minutes or so, and um, make sure there's not like, it's not in front of a vent or the fan's not on one side, and you'll get this, you know, again, uneven um, drying. So, hanging it, you know, giving, giving both sides equal uh, air, I guess, um, will help that to, you know, keep, keep that from curling and and warping the paper again because you just flattened it and that would suck. So, um, and then you should be good. So that's how I flatten my paper and I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Uh, this is just an old book cover I did a few years back. Um, yeah, that's about it.
Pretty easy.